14 on a roll. So this week I switched directions a little bit. Anybody who knows me personally knows that I live in a really chaotic life and world. And my house is super organized. Things like that are really organized. But my brain is pretty much 180 miles an hour all the time. And I push a little harder than the average person. So The Art of Stillness by Pico Iyer. My husband laughed when he saw that this was the book I was reading. So did I love it? No. I didn't, to be really honest. I, I <laughs> Maybe because it made me feel guilt at not ever sitting still. But at the same time, I do sit still, but a friend put it one this way to me one time. She was like, you work in such an intense way, you have to relax in an intense way. And so that works for me. And I will talk more about that at a later date as to what that means by relaxing in an intense way, but that is what I do. But there were a few things that were really, really cool that did make me think. And one of them was page 44. And it's talking about how um, there's so much stress leave at jobs and so many people freaking out and losing their minds and what some of the largest companies in North America have done to combat those issues. So indeed, fully a third of American companies now have stress reduction programs and the number is increasing by the day. In part because workers find unclogging their minds arteries to be so exhilarating. More than 30% of those enrolled in such a program at Aetna, the giant healthcare company, saw their levels of stress dropping by a third after only an hour of yoga each week. The computer chip maker Intel experimented with a quiet period of four hours every Tuesday, during which 300 engineers and managers were asked to turn off their email and phones and put up do not disturb signs on their office doors in order to make space for thinking time. The response proved so enthusiastic that the company inaugurated an eight week program to encourage clearer thinking. At General Mills, so that's your cereals, 80% of senior executives reported a positive change in their ability to make decisions and 89% said that they had become better listeners after a similar seven week program. Such developments are saving American corporations $300 billion a year. More important, they're a form of preemptive medicine at a time when the World Health Organization has been widely quoted as stating that stress will be the health epidemic of the 21st century. So in my own way, I do practice the art of stillness. I do. I use a sauna every day. I do lots of reading. I sit and play Lego. I do a few things that definitely call my mind every day. And it did make me think, I don't know, maybe I'll take on a challenge, go up to a hut in a mountain somewhere with no people and no sound and not talk, which would maybe kill me. But one day, one day I will actually try this and I'll report back and let you know how it goes. So has anybody out there done a silence retreat? Has anyone done this sort of stillness activity? If so, please let me know because I'm really actually kind of intrigued by it. So maybe not 100% my style of book, but easy read. It was little. So it was a TED Talk book. So yeah, check it out. Try it. Maybe it's the book for you. See you guys back here in a bit.